Rock of Ages is our title, but Rock of Today is the theme for this session of Music in the Round, which we're exploring week by week many different kinds of music and music making, from the harpsichord and the lute to the blues, and today the top ten. What you've just heard was, in fact, a top ten number from last autumn called Jeepster, and the composer is our guest of honour for tonight, Mark Boland. In this programme, he'll be singing some of his songs with his group T-Rex, short for Tyrannosaurus Rex, which means, I think, Mark will correct me if I'm wrong, a king-sized version of a very extinct animal like a dinosaur. But there's nothing extinct about T-Rex. Last year they sold literally millions of records and they're hard at it again this year. A few of their fans, just a few of the thousands, have squeezed into the cockpit theatre here in London and they'll have a chance to ask Mark some questions later in the programme. But I'll begin with my own question, if I may, Mark, asked out of friendly ignorance. That uh, number you just did, Jeepster, is that by any stretch of the imagination rock or is that something different? Did we get the title right? Is it rock? Uh, well, it could be. It's more like, you know, 70s rock as opposed to um, the early things, the early rock things that people think of rock. What's the difference? When you say 70s rock, well, what does that mean? It's, it's the quality, man. Those early records were really incredible, but they weren't sort of stereo or anything, and the, there was very little bass on them, you know. Um, and I'm, what I'm really interested in doing is, is getting the excitement down that was generated that I felt as a kid, certainly in those things. You know, and it's, but it's a different sound. You know? what, when you said you set, felt excitement as a kid, what kind of music were you listening to then? Well, rock things in those days. You mean Bill Haley and his Comets and uh, mm, Little Richard? And never like moved me much. Yeah, Little Richard, Eddie Cochran was incredible. Carl Perkins, Chuck Perkins. That's, that's the period you grew up in, was it? Really? Yeah, well, that was the equivalent of, of today's underground music, really, at the time. You know. Except it people, was. You know, you had sort of Burt Whedon to mine on records, <laughs> and those people actually played. You know, Eddie Cochran was called Peter Cochran. When did you actually start playing the guitar? Um, I was about 17. As late as that? Yeah, yeah. And you, did you uh, have lessons a long time? Or did you just pick it up? Mm, or no, I did it in a day. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's encouragement for everybody. It doesn't take long. I don't believe that. No, truly. I mean, I, I, I'd gotten into, I know a few chords, um, but the first day I got an acoustic guitar, I wrote about four songs, some, which you still do. Why in this kind of music, uh, why four rather than eight or twelve places? If the idea is to make a lot of, of exciting uh, noise, why stick for four players? Only? Well, you go, you, know, you go beyond the amount of... Um, communication you can get with people after a while, you know. Um, I started out, you know, just with two people, um, and slowly I augmented it when I thought I could cope with it, you know, but um, I enjoy like, working with perhaps the string section, so there's a lot of people. I, I wouldn't want to um, have that responsibility of having to, to work with them all the time, you know. But this is your basic T-Rex group of four players. Sure, drums, yeah, and it's a question of economics as well, believe it or not. I mean, yeah. To go on the road is incredibly expensive. You know, we have to f uh, find a ground a week before you even play. You know, <laughs> just with people. Yeah. And, and well, we'll come back to the, how the music gets put together in a minute. Yeah. But first of all, you put together a program which shows different kinds of music that you make. And yeah. The next number is called Cadillac, mm. and I noticed that several of your songs have re make references to cars. The one you just uh, did, Jeepster, earlier on. The verse. There's a verse about. I wrote it down. Uh, uh, just like a car. 
you're pleasing to behold, I'll call you Jaguar, if I may be so bold. Uh, and, uh, I'm meant for the animal, actually. I see. <laughs> but in a, I noticed in none of your lyrics, you say, I'll buy you a car, and then I'll throw it away later. But it's, it's car, do cars, really. is car very important? Um, Are cars important? American, uh, Cadillac, I mean, I've, uh, I've got that for an amazing car, which someone gave to me at one point. An old Cadillac, which was a work of art, it was a master. As a car? I don't drive, really, but I mean, it's, it's an amazing car, yeah. But this, next, this next song is called Cadillac. Mm. What can you say what it's about? Uh, it's not really about too much at all, actually. It's not about Cadillacs, for a start. But we'll play it and we'll see if you can okay. work it out. Okay, let's hear it. I don't really know. I mean, I just do what I do because it gives me a buzz. And I don't really know. I mean, you don't look like a teeny bop or whatever people call. You know, it's, see, the implication that you give is, is sort of a bit detrimental, a bit mindless. You know what I mean? They have this, I don't mean that you mean it like that, but people tend to think of young kids in general. I mean, a lot of real babies dig T-Rex music, which is a gas. Real little kids, you know. And that is nice. And they're pretty hip, you know. So, Mark, it's been good to have a question session, but we're really here to hear music, and right. as you say, get to know it and hear more of it. So what are we going to hear for, for your last piece? Well, a um, song which, when this programme comes out, it will have been a single, but I think it's going to be the next single. I'm not sure. It's one called Telegram Sam. Telegram Sam. Mm. Can you tell us a briefly, give us a clue to what it's about? Uh, it's about a man I, I met in New York. A really nice cat. Who's called Telegram, Telegram Sam. Telegram Sam. Why? Because... <laughs> Because he was always sending telegrams? Yeah, well, yeah. Demanded a lot of things on his telegrams. It's a sneaky, it's a secret, actually. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 